Hustled Magpie here today. I want to let you know that we're going to be in the kitchen. The audio is going to be hopefully good. We're working on the microphone issues that we've been having lately, and I am looking forward to making sure that you guys have an excellent experience. Now, we are going to be making a stir fry that has both uh, beef and shrimp in it. So if that's not your bag, if you can't mix your meats and whatnot, that's fine. Just click to a different video. I just want to let y'all know ahead of time. Um, it does have shellfish in it. Okay, so we are going to use a bag of steamable, right? You know what? I will just show you. Let's go to the kitchen. On today's episode, we're going to be working on how to create a delicious filling Chinese food keto dish. Everybody here knows how to make stir fry, probably. You just put vegetables and chicken in a pan and saute with some uh, butter and soy sauce and spices and veggie, more veggies and herbs, but can't uh, and then serve it over a bed of rice, right? Well, you can't do that on the keto diet. What you can do is cauliflower rice, which we're gonna get to in a few minutes. For right now, we are going to take these and chop them up. Now, I just grabbed three bell peppers. You can grab however many little baby bell peppers you want. This isn't going to be like a huge meal. We've already eaten today, so it doesn't have to be super filling. This is going to be as big as it is so that I can send leftovers with my husband to work tomorrow. Because really, we're just not going to be able to eat all this food in one night. There's going to be so much delicious fat in it. It just won't be possible. <laughs> One thing I'm pretty conscious about is actually I told you guys I was eventually going to get a tripod so I wouldn't have to stand when I cooked anymore. And guess what? I'm not standing while I cook anymore. And I feel pretty proud of myself for it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you think it's shameful to cook while you're seated? Do you think that it makes more sense to do it while standing up? Or do you subscribe to the sit down while you cook? Hello, my love. Yeah, I did a little filmy intro thing. You can move it back. I'm just in the kitchen recording dinner. I'm making dinner. Did you already eat? No. Good.
This is Beef Chuck Boneless USDA Select. It was uh, $4.39 a pound, so I got just over a pound of it. And it's got some truly beautiful marbling, honestly. I am a fan of all that fat. Looking delicious. So all we're going to do is just cut this into stir fry like strips, you know. How do you like your stir fry? That's how you should cut your meat. We like our pieces to be a little bit more bite sized. We are using Simply Asia. Oh, maybe we can't use this one. Nope, no carbs. Okay, we're fine. Don't forget your salt, guys. It's super important, especially if you're on the keto diet. Alright, let's go, go put some butter in this pan. We're gonna start this off with some butter in the pan on medium to high or medium high heat, like medium and one and a half past medium. And that's about what you want the pan on. Let the pan get hot. It needs to be hot before you can put anything into the pan. So please make sure your pan is hot. I don't know why thing is smoking, but maybe because it's a terrible stove. Sorry guys. I promise you won't die. I'm adjusting cameras and angles and trying to give you all the best viewing experience. I hope you like it. Obviously this is a big old hunk of butter. But we have a little bit of food to work on, so that's okay. Now we're going to cook off this seasoned meat. Remember, y'all, you don't want to overcrowd your pan, so only put about half of the meat in at a time. You have plenty of time. This cooks fast.
is our cauliflower rice. I hate rice and cauliflower. Okay, now my pan can go ahead and handle the rest of this. I just didn't want it all to heat up, or to cool down the pan too fast. So we've let the first section heat up. Now we're putting the second half in. Precisely where it belongs, this frying pan. I am really hoping that this mic is not catching all of this ambient noise. This is considered a test. I will do a voiceover if this is not up to snuff, but I am hopeful that I don't have to do a voiceover because I kind of like being able to do these videos with y'all with no voiceovers. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of nice. Now it's time when we're going to go ahead and put these bell peppers and pieces of broccoli in there. Add so much flavor and color. Just nice rounding out of this meal. <laughs> time of my life. And I owe it all to you. La. La, 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 la. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Walk through the fire, the sound of a lion. I found my way back in the end. Baby, I've fallen for you. Sure is something else mm. Can we stay for a while Until the fire's been out It's a 
Hey y'all, it's the Muscled Magpie here. Today uh, we were in the kitchen and I was gonna film with you like a whole walkthrough video but then I didn't realize that my battery on my camera had died and the other one was still charging so I was unable to film my husband eating it but I will put a picture of the meal in here and a picture of him enjoying it in here and i hope that helps but it was really really delicious special thanks to keto ginger because uh she gave me the idea for the recipe obviously her recipe is for fried rice and i forgot to fry my rice and didn't use half the same ingredients as her but that's okay that's that's what it's all about is making your dishes your own all the recipes are what's best for your family um, but I won't give you her recipe if you want her super secret, her and her husband's super secret way to get your rice extra uh, fried texture, then go ahead and head on over to their channel. I'll link it here. Uh, if you want to see more fun cook with me videos, let me know down in the comments below. I'd really appreciate that. Um, I've been working really hard on my new channel and it sort of led to a lack of cooking on my part, so... Uh, with Lee being so supportive, I thought I'd give him a real fancy surf and turf dinner. And I'm glad that I did. He really enjoyed it, and I really enjoyed getting back into the kitchen. Don't forget to check the description down below for all the affiliate links that I have. Uh, they are links for things that I like to eat regularly, things, all of the things in my kit, and just stuff like that. Also, there is a link down below for two free months of Skillshare. I just signed up for it, and I'm currently taking an uh, master class on YouTube SEO and analytics which is super awesome so you know get free two months out of it see if you like it if you don't free two months was worth it right because you got to find out whether you liked something or not anyway thank you all so much for coming along and joining me on this cook along I really had a great time and I hope you all have a beautiful day I will see you on Wednesday bye It's fading to gray